part of our regional footprint at Fort Anstey. And it sometimes feels like the, um, yeah, we talk about the great Southwest, it sometimes feels like the forgotten South, yeah. Southwest in some respects, lagging behind in terms of profile and business clout. Um, you know, we don't have a you know, south of Bristol anyway, there's no Metro Mayor or devolved authority. You know, what what role is there for business to sort of make sure we do punch our weight and you know is it is it only devolution that can you know and a combined authority that can do that or are there other mechanisms to achieve that um it's going to be really interesting to see where the devolution of debate goes over the the next year or so i think um again the pandemic has shown a lot of things it's shown whether whether from westminster through to devolved nations or whether through to regions um that things aren't always terribly well joined up. We've seen the debates, you know, we've seen the the the, the division, um, the, the the tension between central control and local de de decision making happen. We've also seen some of the successes um, where, where that works well, where the communication is really strong, where the centre sort of sets the framework, but actually regions are empowered to take decisions, whether on in, in the pandemic, whether it's on test and trace, whether it's on restrictions, business support, yeah. um, where that's worked well. It's actually a really good model. And I think, we can take some of that um, and apply that. So firstly, the government needs to refresh the devolution strategy. What powers are appropriate to devolve to regions? Um, and importantly, what funding comes behind that? And I, again, expect to see, to see, to see more on that. Um, one, of the, one of the interesting things at the moment is you have a variety of models, as you've said. You have metro mayors in some places, you don't, you don't in others. You have you almost, almost a thousand flowers blooming across the UK. Um, that, that can work because you can learn a lot from it. What's really important is that no region is left behind. And we have seen some regions who are unable to reach regional agreement yeah. actually hobbled because of that, because it means they don't get the funding. It means they don't have the process in place to make, make decisions. So I think I think that's particularly true for the for the Southwest. Um, it's as with a lot of regions, it's very diverse. You know, you've got high productivity in Bristol, some of the lowest in the country in Cornwall. Um, you've got you know the, the the COVID impact on tourism, uh, the skills challenge in the region. Again, very very mixed across di uh, acro across different parts. And I think probably the single most important thing, and where business can be really really help helpful, is starting to join stuff up. Yeah. So you know, can you have the Great Southwest working with the Western uh, Gateway? Can you have LEPS, the mayoral combined authority, actually coming together in a more effective way? Um, and saying, no, we are a region. We succeed together or we fail together. There are benefits to scale, yet despite the diversity, despite the different dynamics in Bristol and Bar through to Cornwall, and, uh, you know, and there, there are, of course, different dynamics, but that needn't be a barrier. And I think the business, so much of devolution is about spreading equality of income, of prosperity, of opportunity. And that's what business do. So the business voice on that has got to be really, really strong. So let's do that. Let's build that, as I've said, on some of the changes we've seen in the pandemic. And um, we are seeing firms. You know, it, it, the regional growth report that we did a few years ago showed that at that time, journey time to work was fundamental for regional productivity. If you were within an hour's journey, if you had a, a suitable workforce within an hour of your office or, or workplace, you would be more productive. That's going to change now because of flexible working. That's a huge advantage to areas like the like the, like the south southwest. You've got, as we've said, the big government strategies, whether it's on net zero, whether it's on digital connectivity, whether it's on skills coming through. How can the southwest step into that together, really grasp that, and get ahead uh, of, of other regions? And I think you know, at the CBI, we're really pushing for a lot of support on investment in innovation, whether that's regional catapult quarters. Um, whether that's investment roadmaps, vouchers for SMEs that actually help them to invest in productive technologies. If we can get those things right, and if the Southwest can come together and really exploit them, um, things are going to be different. Those first movers, those people with that ambition and that vision are going to, are going to be able to take advantage. Let's make sure it happens here.